I was going to record something, but someone is using the microwave. The microwave's on right now. Aurora. <laughs> Everybody prepared. It is rolling. Okay, hi, I'm Katie Moore, the Iron Heart Mama. Welcome to my quarantine kitchen. So this is a series that we're doing with a whole bunch of fabulous um, YouTubers. So myself and Cookie Crumb Fun, Claire, my friend Claire, we're really just wanting to bring a little bit of help and hope to your kitchen. So enjoy the video and then be sure to hit that playlist and watch all of them. Really, like the ladies here, they're fantastic. You're gonna like them. I brought this freeze frame on myself because I totally forgot to tell you guys that Monday, 8 p.m. Central, we are having a live giveaway with Claire, Cookie Crumb Fun, and me right here on my YouTube channel. See you there? One of the things about this quarantine season, this whole time being home all the time, I used to say that when we were gone all the time, our house would get messy, but it seems like our house is messy now. I mean... My kids do a lot of work. I've got someone glaring at me right now. I'm, listen, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that for all of us who are home for a good amount of time and we still have like other things going on, we can't like focus all of our energy on cleaning, we might need to tackle this teamwork style every now and then. So that is exactly what my family is doing today. We are all pitching in, the kids and I. Um, Kevin is working and so that's okay. That's teamwork of its own right. Exactly. I forgot what I was saying. I'm going to show you my kitchen. Yes, I am. In all of its messy glory. Someone's shaking their head, but I want you to know the truth. We're just normal people, right? So let me show you normal people things, and then we're going to clean it normal people style. The kids are assigned to a territory to clean all week, but um, this week we've got Libby in the kitchen and Rora on dishes, and because those are two most used areas in our house, I try to help keep up with those throughout the week. I try not to undermine my kids' work by coming behind them and cleaning up after them, but rather calling them back and asking them to complete it or just pointing out that they maybe could do it a little bit better. And here you're going to see that Libby said, hey, mom, I already did that, and I didn't realize that, so I apologized to her. But really, I want them to take ownership of their responsibilities, and I want them to feel good about their accomplishments. So I would rather call them back than come behind them and clean up. So I just wanted to make that point here. So in the order of, you know, really getting in the kitchen and taking care of things that need to be done, um, this is where I would also work on my kombucha. I take care of it about once a week. And let me just show you a little bit of the process. So right here, um, I have a fresh pot of tea brewing. It's already, I already brewed it and it's got sugar. So all I'm going to do is wait for this to cool down and I'll put it up here in my jars. So I'm going to show you my jars. I'm going to pull them out and I am going to go ahead and make my flavors. So this is the second ferment. And yeah, let me just show you how I do it. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but that is my kombucha jar. And then I have it um, tapped off into my flavor jar. So this one right here is going to be mango passion. And I just you know, use juice because I need this to be easy. <laughs> um, but for the other one, I do have some guavas I'm going to cut up. They're a little bit old, but it'll be perfect. Perfect. My kombucha will absolutely love it. And I might do a different variation, a different flavor, maybe strawberry or something with the, it says watered down palm. That's because my kids drank a whole bunch of pomegranate juice and then added water to the bottle. Anybody else's children do that? Or kills me. This is the point when I normally have to be reminded to come turn it off because I have had this overflow before. I know. I should probably pay attention better to it, but you know, mom life and stuff. So next one. 
A couple years ago, my husband made me this stand for my second ferments. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. It works so well for me to make all the different flavors. This is a beautiful, brand new, fresh SCOBY. You can see where it started at the top of the jar and then it grew. But look how lovely that is. This is just from one second ferment. It's perfect, it's beautiful. This is actually from using juice. It has um, a good amount of sugar in it and so it eats it right up and creates this beautiful thing. And this is actually, um, it's been sitting in there for a little while, but isn't it lovely? So one of the things that I have to do um, probably every few months, no, probably every once a month, is clean out the spigots. Um, I don't know, if, here, let me get closer so you can see what I'm doing here. So I use, all my kombucha jars have spigots, and sometimes those get plugged up with like a little bit of scoby. And this one you can tell has a little bit in it because it's not pouring as super well. So that is definitely a thing that has, has to happen. Um, I learned the hard way that all of these actually, like they unscrew. You do not have to pick all the stuff out of spigots. You know, I just thought I'd share that for anybody else who has spent like two years of their life cleaning out spigots without unscrewing them. So there's that. If you have a fruit fr fruit, if you have a fruit fly problem. Just take a little bottle, put just a little bit of apple cider vinegar and then one drop of Dawn dish, dish detergent, dish detergent, and that catches all of them. By the way, I think that they prefer organic apple cider vinegar. I'm not even kidding. How do I act on camera? Okay, this is how she acts in real life. This is how she acts on camera. Why? Just something about being on the camera. It's so weird. You're okay. We're, we're getting ready to come up on an, another month. We are on, at another month, so we tried to pull everything together, but um, something that I'm planning on looking at is a pantry challenge. So basically what this, is, this pantry challenge is gonna look like, and it's not extensive, we don't get crazy, we have plenty of food in the house, but it just helps us to learn how to be creative and use what we have. So what we're going to do is take inventory and then we'll fi fill out our pantry challenge page um, and that's just another way that we can kind of clean out. Before I say goodbye, I wanted to just read to you something um, that, came, that I was thinking about earlier and I thought just might bless you. So um, this is out of the Bible, um, John 10.10. 10. Some of you might already even know it, so let me just read it, because reading God's word is always good, right? The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. You might have heard the phrase, life more abundant. If you are a follower of Christ, you already know that Christ came to give you life more abundant. But let me ask you, are you living life to the fullest, knowing what he did for you? Or are you right now kind of treading in fear? Because that's not for you, friend. You have life more abundant. You have life to the fullest because Christ came and he gave the ultimate gift. And if you're not a follower of Christ, can I ask you if now is the time to put your trust in Christ? Because if you are living in a world just full of fear and you don't know what's coming next, and you need the hope of the Savior. And so, that's my encouragement for you today. So friend, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, then check out all of the other videos in the playlist. We've got some really great ladies and really just brand new practical tips and a little bit of hope.
So, all right, see you soon.